guys. So, out here going to do some detecting this morning. Um, it's not super early, but it's still a little chilly, and a little windy, and I am, I don't know, I just want to get out. I don't really, usually I go out, I really want to find something old or something big or something valuable, and it's been, I don't know, a little over a week since I've been out, I think. Uh, maybe not quite. And I just want to get out and dig some holes. I don't really care if I find clad. <laughs> I say that now. Now watch me uh, complain later. But So I don't know if I'm going to do live digs or not. But I will most definitely have the camera with me. So if I find something jaw dropping, um, I'll get it on camera. So hopefully we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys. So I started it over there. And I've just been working away, working my way along the edge of the the uh, infield here, and I got a bunch of nails that were falsing, and I kept taking the bait on them. So uh, I got sick of digging nails. So about halfway across, I switched to two-tone ferrous, and realized when I switched to two-tone ferrous, I realized there weren't really that many non-ferrous targets in the ground. So I thought, hey, what? Why not? Why not just dig everything that I can hit, uh, other than the stuff that I know is really low, low uh, foil uh, type of stuff. But um, came along and just dug this hole here, and it's nothing mind blowing. But I thought it was a bottle cap, but it's actually is down deeper, and uh, it's it looks like it's the part of a locket uh, or something, and. Not really sure. It could be something or it could be nothing, but it's uh, definitely old. That's for sure. So I'll clean it up at home. If it's anything, I'll put it in the roundup. But yeah, good stuff. Hopefully, you know, I'm thinking this may be the day I get, get some gold. I've never dug gold. So uh, if ever there was a day, this could be the day. All right. All right, guys. I think you got a nice, uh, I think you got a wheat penny here. <clears throat> it uh yeah it's definitely a wheat penny but in terms of I can see the the ears on this side but it's really crusty so I don't think I'm going to be able to get a date off of it right now but um I'm I'm glad I dug this I could get it to ring in one direction sweeping back the other direction I got nothing turned 90 degrees it came in a lot better both ways so I dug and it was deep it was coming in at a 1444 bouncing all the way up to 1844 so there may be some iron in here as well but all right hey guys uh, I'm here by the river and uh, they're gonna be tearing up a section of the park over here to put in a band shell so I thought I'd come over and just see if they'd torn up the ground yet but I got a 1958 wheat penny that means there could be silver. All right, we'll keep at it. Gonna do a live dig here. Nice high tone deep. I'm in a park, so I'm not talking too much. I don't want to be that guy that talks to himself in the park. But um, thinking this could be a wheat penny, a deep penny. So let's see what we got. Here. heavy. Feels like it would be got some sort of design on it. I think it had something attached to the back. Huh. Oh, now I can see if it's silver, it's just silver plated. I can see underneath it. Copper coming through. So, alright, well, keep at it. 
dug another week. Look at this. I mean, you're talking inch, two inches below the surface here. It's kind of crusty, but uh, and it's bent, but it is a wheat. So good, good stuff. 1941, it looks like. 48. Another 1948. This is a D. So, hoping to be able to pull a silver coin out of here. If there's wheat pennies this shallow, then there's got to be a silver coin around here. So, all right, let's keep at it. Guys, doing another live dig here. 1147, but it's not on the surface. It's down there a little ways. So, maybe if that other wheat penny was shallow, maybe this could be a shallow silver quarter. And not only is it not only is it modern, it's like a state quarter. So alright, worth a shot. Alright, keep on going. Alright guys. Um kicking myself because I didn't live dig this. Uh didn't dig a very big plug. Flipped it over right here. I can see the imprint of the coin. And if I look Right down here, I can see a silver rim. So, got a silver, and it was shallow, and it's a Merc. Silver Merc, 1942. Dang, that's awesome. I'm happy with it, but I wish I would have live dug it. Dang it. I'm going to have to start live digging again, and it's clear no one has hit this little patch here, because... Um, 1943, I, I don't know if I said 42, it's a 43, so, looks like there might be a, a D mint mark on it, so, alright, good stuff, got some silver, not gonna go home skunk today. Well, hey guys, uh, just doing a little bit of a wrap up from my hunt today, um, you know, like I said at the beginning, I just wanted to get out, I didn't really care if I found old stuff, um, just wanted to get out and dig some holes and I was pleasantly surprised so here's my clad nothing real major a couple quarters and some dimes a couple nickels love digging the nickels but nothing old and then a handful of pennies both uh, uh, zincs and uh, copper and then for my uh, interesting things here is that piece which I think might be the back of a locket after I cleaned it up a little bit, I can see there is some silver, some silver plating on it in just a few areas. Um, it's pretty toasted now, but it, it was uh, a cool, cool find. Then I have this thing here, this copper cap, and it's it is threaded on the inside. Um, it's hard to really see on the inside there, but um, don't really know what this is from, but. It was deep. It was an iffy signal. I was glad I dug it. And then this thing here, um, if you look at the back, you can see where uh, a, a, something broke off of it. I think this was some sort of pin. And it looks like it could be like a book or something. I don't know. It's either silver or I'm thinking it's mo maybe uh, chrome plated copper because I can see the copper coming through. Uh, then on to some good coins. You got this uh, pretty crusty uh, wheat penny. This is the first one that I dug today, and it was, it's a 1945. I, I could get that much off of it, but, um, you know, nothing special there. Then I dug a 1958, which was pretty clean. Probably hadn't been in the ground. Um, I mean, it, who knows how long it's been in the ground, but it cleaned up really nice, so... And then 
a 1948D, which is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's bent pretty bad. Um, but a wheat penny is a wheat penny, so I'll take it. And then, whoops, and then the Merc. I did get a, a silver dime, and let's see if I can focus in here. It's a 1943, nothing special about it. There is no mint mark, but silver is silver. Always happy to have that. So anyways, it was a good hunt. Thanks uh, for watching, everyone. Uh, take care.